There are some pretty important things going on across our sites to encourage gender parity. But as we've seen, things are not always that straightforward. To get a broader view on this, I'm here with Sharon Todd, CEO of the Society of Chemical Industry. Welcome, Sharon. Thanks, Tom. Before I ask you about the bigger picture, why don't you tell us a little bit more about your story and your experience and how you got to where you are today? I have spent probably 33 years now in the chemical industry. I joined in 1988, which feels like an awful long time ago, and I joined the industry uh, from uh, studying chemistry at Southampton University, really with a desire to use my chemistry, but not at the bench. A mm -hmm. uh, multitude of my friends went off into the city, worked on professional careers, but for me, I wanted to use the chemistry in a business sense, uh, and the opportunity presented itself through industry. So why do you think the industry has struggled to attract more women in senior roles? I think it's challenging when there are lots of opportunities out there. I think employers need to present a really positive uh, perspective of their strategy and what they're doing for people, especially the young people mm. these days. I think a lot of young people are looking for um, opportunities where they can use their science, but they are, can also work on environmental uh, challenges, in particular around sustainability as well. So I think that, that first feed of young people into industry is a really important step. I think then as they go through industry and into different careers, it can be challenging because the industry still is quite predominantly male, and that is changing. It is changing in a really positive way, but I think it needs to change faster. So is there a problem in presenting the chemical sector as an attractive career option for women? Yes, I think, I think there is, bluntly. Yes, I think there is. And I think the industry needs to present itself more as an opportunity for innovation, mm -hmm. as an opportunity for change, and as a place where, certainly for young scientists and engineers, they can put their skills to work yep. and have a really valuable and rewarding career. And I think often the industry doesn't present itself in that way. You know, I've had a lot of interesting jobs, that's not been the problem, but I think the presentation of the industry is perhaps not as positive or attractive as it could be. You mentioned already that you've seen some improvements happening. What, what do you think is improving? What sort of initiatives are you seeing that are helpful in this? I think there's definitely more of a flow through from the younger levels to the more senior levels. Um, I think there have been some positive um, measures taken, in, certainly in the States, for example, uh, where there was much more perhaps analysis and monitoring mm -hmm. of women and then perhaps more proactive um, programs to help them and encourage them through into more senior roles. Uh, so I think that's one area. I think another area I've seen companies do some successful things is in mentoring, yep. recognising and mentoring and creating sort of role models for certainly younger women to follow through in the system. I think all the companies we come across do something a bit different. There isn't kind of a, but different things work in different places. And I think that's fine as well. But I think all of that could be accelerated. Leads on to the next question, do you think companies need to do more? It sounds like the answer to that is obviously yes, they do. I, I think they do. You know, I run an organisation that is about sustainability and innovation for society. Everything we do is about that. And everything that we do with our member network, which is the industry, mm -hmm. is about that. I think that's a massively exciting challenge mm -hmm. and needs this flux of diversity. It needs, uh, it needs young people, it needs people at middle management level, and it needs people from all different sorts of places to contribute to that. And that's a kind of societal need. It's not an industry profit objective, it's a sort of societal need. And I think if we promoted the job opportunities and the experience that people would get and their ability to change things more, I think we'd get a higher influx. So across industry, maybe there's more that we could do together to provide a more cohesive approach to or structures for a certainly young women coming through the system. Now we're in this beautiful building. Yes. You are heading up an organisation that's been in existence since 1880? 1881. What do you think those founding fathers of the industry would think about uh, what's happening in today's chemical industry in this area? Our founders were creative, they were um, inventive and they valued diversity. So right at the start of the organisation, there was this desire to build diversity into the DNA of SCI. And that's how they created and that's how they went forward. I think if they were standing here today, they would perhaps be tut-tutting a bit and telling us we should have moved faster mm -hmm. and we should have moved with more pace and more urgency. But the core founding values that they had are still with us, certainly as a society today. Yes, I think they would probably tell us that we should have moved faster. Sharon, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Tom.